What's up team? It is your biggest fan, The Real Casadero, and in the last vlog someone asked the question, what is the best? I don't know exactly what they mean, but I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and say that they probably meant what is the best web development framework and or library to learn in 2019. So here's here's my opinion on what the best framework or web development library to learn in 2019 is. All right, team, it is your biggest fan, The Real Casadero, back here, back again, and we're talking about what is the best web development framework or best web development library to learn in 2019. And here's the, here's the deal. Everybody has, has what they believe is their own version of the best. And to be honest, maybe I don't have a deep enough understanding of all of these different libraries uh, in, in the problems that they solve to, to give an opinion. Or maybe it's just that the best library or framework to learn in 2019 or to learn ever is the one that you are the most comfortable with, the one you, you're gonna have the most fun with. Okay, the real Casadero, where do I start? Where do I, be, how do I even discover what framework I believe is the best in this, that, and the third? That's where we gotta start. I am of the belief that the the way to find out is to just use all of these different things at some at some point but not right away the very first thing you want to do if you want to be a web developer build applications websites games on the internet then you have to you have to understand HTML and CSS at the very least and then if you're gonna make your your interfaces look nice and do different things and and have animations and build single page applications, you gotta know JavaScript because that is the only programming language that's gonna work on the front end, that's gonna work in the browser to do all of that UI stuff that you wanna do. Then we can go over to the back end and, and, this, and you're operating on a server, maybe you're reading and writing to a database. You may need to know a back end language and there's all different kinds, like every computer language you can imagine can probably be, can be ran on the back end, right? This is just an application on the server that interacts with the web server to to receive requests and to send and to send back information. In in my opinion, JavaScript is one of the most versatile languages, and it works on the front end, and you can get it to work on the back end by using Node.js. And a lot of people think Node.js is a language or something like that. It is just an application that interprets JavaScript. And, it, and there is modules that allow you to do different things on the server, like interact with the file system and change files, update files, rename files, all kinds of stuff. You can build your own web server and know that you can do all kinds of stuff in Node. So I would start there. I would start at HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And then after you learn the primers to all of these things, and there's free courses that will show you a little bit of HTML, a little bit of CSS, a little bit of JavaScript over at code365startuplab.com. If you go over there, there's free courses there that'll help you with all, that'll help you get started right up and running uh i i think the the very first courses i named primers and i'm gonna put up some some more advanced courses after that the deal is is, is if you start there and learn the basics then you can start to build stuff and so when you have an idea for a calculator or a, or a little game or any little idea just resolve to build that thing like uh, this is the thing that i'm gonna build and then start building it and as you build it you're gonna run into problems. Like maybe you don't know how to get an event or add a button click or something like that. And then you, you're out on the internet and you're looking and you're coming across these different solutions. And this isn't gonna happen overnight. It's gonna take time, but as time goes on, you're gonna build this knowledge. You're gonna be like, hey, if I organize my code like this, it'll make it easier for me to do these things. Or, or if, I, if I use constructors or classes or whatever or if I or if I put everything in functions when you get to that point where you're thinking about how to organize your code then you're going to start to think about is there something that exists already that's going to help me organize my code that's when you're going to start getting into the frameworks and the libraries and you and th at that point you can just go read about them you can read about what react does and what Vue does and what angular does and all these different things and and you and you can read the different uh, 
comments and questions and issues that people say they have with these libraries and frameworks. And you can make a decision based on that. Maybe one deals with state in a different way or a better way. So a lot of people say, and you have an understanding of what state is. You have this data that you don't want to change, or you have this data that you do want to change, uh, or, or you have a, a application that's completely functional when you have to go through all of these functions to get the answers and you want that state to be updated across the application. Maybe Vue is something for you or maybe React is something. It just depends, but you have to get to the point where you're able to ask the question. What I see a lot is developers first starting out and somebody has told them like, go learn React or go learn this or, or whatever. In the beginning, in the early days of JavaScript, it was like, go learn jQuery if you want to be a JavaScript master. So you have all these people who know jQuery and then these other frameworks start to come out like Facebook releases, releases React and, and, and the Evan U makes Vue and all this stuff. And now they're trying to learn these these frameworks because somebody said go learn them, but they can't pick it up because they don't understand JavaScript. They just understand jQuery. So that is, that is what I recommend. The best framework in 2019 and in, in forward into the future is the framework that you believe will solve whatever problem it is you're trying to solve. But before you can get to that point where you're trying to solve a problem or you can even think about a solution to, to a problem that somebody brings you or a problem that you conceive yourself, you have to have a basic understanding of, of how of how things work before you can ask those higher level questions. That is it team. If that made sense, what you want to do is you want to click the subscribe button so you get notifications when these come out, but also you want to click the bell and you want to click it and make it sure it has those things on it. And that'll, and, and you'll be notified whenever a new video comes out. Uh, if there was something I missed or something you don't understand, leave a comment below. If you like the video, leave a comment below. Just leave some comments below. And also a lot of people have been asking about the hats. We, I, I will bring back the hats. I believe I have a supplier that makes a hat that is of the same quality as the hat that I'm wearing, which I believe is a very good quality. So we're going to bring back the, uh, we're going to bring back the hats. All right, team. So don't forget to subscribe, like, share, leave a comment, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the next vlog.